Hi, it's Kyle from Bytewing Games, and today we're taking a look at the one social deduction game that I actually enjoy, and that's Hollywood 1947. Now this is a prototype that was sent to me to make a how to play video. Making review videos is a little tricky for me. I hate to be overly optimistic and positive about a game and feel like I'm lying to you, the viewer, if I thought the game was just mediocre. But I also hate to be negative about a game if I'm being sent it from a publisher that I feel like I have a, a relationship with and I don't want to talk down about their game. Um, so making how to play videos is really nice for me because then I can still give information and create the content and help you as the viewer understand the game without always giving it my stamp of approval or my, hey, I don't love this game. However, with this game here, I created a how to play video, but I emailed them and said, hey, could I actually make a review video? Because I don't usually like social deduction games and I loved this one. And so while I'm disclosing that this was a prototype that they sent to me, um, I'm out of no obligation making this video. I just really, really enjoyed the game. And like I said, I don't love social deduction games usually, and I can't say exactly why that is. Um, I don't love the player elimination that lots of times comes. I don't love, hey, can I figure out who you are? And that's the whole point of the game. Um, and this does a few different things that circumvent some of those concerns that I have. Um, so first, let's take a look at an overview of how the game plays. The premise of the game is you are creating films. The films either share a patriotic message or a communist message. You will play as either a patriot or a communist. Patriots want four films that are predominantly patriotic. Communists want more communist symbols in four of the movies. So best of seven wins. Each round will be a unique film. Players that have a star on their dice can add one card from their hand to the film. A random card will be added from the deck and a random card will be removed from the movie. All cards are flipped and the film will either be dubbed a patriotic film or a communist film. As soon as one of the teams has four films of their type, the game ends and those players win. Depending on your player count, there will also be a wild card player called the Rising Star. And the Rising Star's goal is to keep the game as close as possible and they win if the game ends in a near tie. There are asymmetric abilities that let players have some say over which film is selected, or which card is added to or removed from the movie. Other abilities let you reroll dice or draw more cards to your hand from the deck. Now there are a few areas where I feel like Hollywood really shines for me. And the number one is in the ideal amount of randomization. Each round a card is randomly added, and then all the cards are shuffled, and a card is randomly removed. So there's just enough randomization that it's hard to know which player put what card in, but not so much that I can't have any ideas. By the end of the game, I'm usually pretty certain of who is on which team. On your turn, you can either take your unique ability or you can reroll two dice. Because the opposing team can reroll their own die to try to roll a star while simultaneously rerolling your die, hoping to make it so you can't add cards to the movie. And the star player throws in an awesome unknown of if a player is actually on your team or if they are the star and their motivations are only temporarily aligned with your own. In my opinion, this is the social deduction game for people who don't love social deduction. But I imagine people who like social deduction will love this too. If it sounds interesting at all to you, go ahead and check it out. If you have any questions about how the game plays, go ahead and check out my other video of how to play. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Until next time.